Ray Rodriguez used to go to summer camp at the Natural History Museum as a young boy. And now he's here today with his own son. The fact that I get to share what I learned with my son, you know, you get to learn about the area that you're in, the animals that lived here, a little bit of history in the exhibits. For over half a century, the museum has been open to the community, but now they're in a crunch to raise $25,000 by Saturday to receive a matching donation. In recent years, of course, you know, funding has really been a lot harder to get for um, nonprofits and the arts especially. So this will enable us to uh, meet our budget. We really have to have the support of our community to sustain our mission. The Natural History Museum survives off donations and is the only one in a 100 mile radius. Not only can you learn about nature, but also culture and local history. Rebecca Young and her two children are frequent visitors. Great that we have, you know, this museum in town because not many small towns would have this kind of thing available to them. The museum has already raised more than half of what they need but only have a few days left. The executive director says it's imperative to keep the museum up and running for years to come. It's awfully hard uh, for a community to know who they are, where they're going, if they don't know where they've been. In Bryan, Elizabeth O'Neill, ABC 40 News.